Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A, and today's video is being sponsored by one of my favorite wig websites, which is Genesis Wigs, you guys. They have the most amazing crystal lace lace frontals that I have ever demonstrated and worn, so you definitely are going to want to check them out. The lace is so see-through, it will melt. Girl, you will forget that you are wearing a wig, and I've done quite a few videos for them lately, so I will say they are highly recommended. And do you guys see their new elastic bands with the rubber gripping in the back? This will definitely help. But in the meantime, let me show you guys how your wig comes from Genesis Stuck in my mind I've been hypnotized by you hey, All the suffering and pain Got me feeling so blue Cause when it was us I was never enough Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up Pushing me down Instead of pulling me up So tell me what I'm supposed to do Just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up I've been worrying about my mental health Cause when I'm alone I keep checking my phone Seeing all these people Having someone to lean on While I don't Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up Pushing me down instead of pulling me up So tell me what I'm supposed to do Just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up so if you guys are wondering about the durability of the crystal lace because it is so thin it's definitely durable it's a lot more transparent than the HD lace, which HD lace is still just as nice, but as you guys can tell from this demonstration right here, you definitely cannot see it. I did put some hairspray on both pieces, and it's definitely transparent. Crystal Lace will definitely work for all skin tones, very durable, and you can always tell the difference between real HD Crystal Lace versus the knockoffs. So I'll definitely post their information down below. So the one good thing about getting a wig from Genesis Wigs is you don't really have to do much. I didn't have to bleach this unit. I didn't have to pre-pluck it. It does come with a clean hairline, which means it looks very, very natural, as you can tell from the front. The parting is very deep in this 13 by 6.5 inch lace frontal. It is 20 inches. It is virgin Brazilian straight hair, and the density of it is 180%. Now, with the clean hairline, like I stated, you don't have to do any customization, especially if you don't know how to. If you're new to the wig games, you definitely want to pick out something that is super easy for you and you don't have to do much work. I like the fact that I don't have to do much work because I think I do enough much work as it is. So when you get a wig that you don't have to do much, trust me when I tell you, it's a blessing. This part right here, I'm gonna make it in the middle part. You guys know I don't really do a lot of middle parts. A lot of the times it does have to do with the lace on the wig because sometimes you can see it. And a lot of times when you are speaking with a person, you're out in public, people kind of gravitate to, you know, eye contact. And with eye contact, if you have the middle part and the lace is not that great, it's definitely noticeable. So a lot of times I don't do a lot of middle parts because of those reasons, because of the lace. So with a crystal clear lace, lace frontal, you don't have to worry about anyone noticing the lace because it does melt into your skin. Very easy to adhere, very easy to style, put on and look your best, honey. Now this part right here, I do a lot of the times, which is customization. Uh, when you do get a stock size wig, a lot of times it may be a little bit too big on the sides. So in order for it to fit properly, you may need to part it right as you see here 
above your ears. I just part right above my ears and I cut in between that part so that way my wig will fit properly. It'll fit over my ear, it'll lay flatter to my head, and it'll look more natural as you guys see. If you're noticing, I am cutting a tad bit of the hair off. It's okay because I didn't want the hair all the way too far down. But I am going to be cutting the lace a little bit close to the hairline. Not too close. Girl, y'all know how I chew favorites. Favorite candy of the year. Mm, okay. So if you see me chewing, it's because of those. And back to the old school of Aussie Instant Freeze. If you want your wig to adhere for like a day or some hours, Aussie Instant Freeze is amazing for that, depending on how many barriers you put on. I'm gonna put on, I think, about two or three layers here. Um, it does dry pretty fast, so keep that in mind. I will spray one layer on and I'll allow it to get tacky, like so. As you see right here, it does get very tacky. And after like the second layer, which is normally good enough for me, I will then pull down the wig itself. And because it dries so quick, you really don't need a blow dryer, but it also depends on the lace I have noticed that the thicker the lace you'll definitely need a blow dryer but because this is thinner lace I don't really need a blow dryer like that um, I just allow it to dry on its own which is pretty quick and I just hold it down and voila that's it honeys okay but with hairspray I think the best thing for me when it comes to hairspray when I'm applying my wig with hairspray is it, the cleanup process is a lot easier so if you see a little bit of hairspray where past my hairline it's easily removed with a baby wipe you know I don't have to alcohol it I don't have to use any kind of special chemicals to get it off my skin just a good wet rag or a baby wipe girl and you're good to go press that wig down into that tacky hairspray and if you miss some spots spray some on the tail end of your comb and you good to go girl now just to make my wig look like it's you know flat as possible natural growing out of my scalp like I got a fresh relaxer I do like to use the hot comb Normally, if I'm not doing this on camera, I do prefer to do it on a canvas wig mannequin head because I don't really want to burn myself. But because I'm on camera, I'm going to show you guys the process and steps. Now, this is optional. This you don't have to do. But a girl likes some sideburns, okay? I feel kind of naked without sideburns. So I definitely want to give myself some sideburns. And I will clean up the uh, hairspray after the video, or I'm not really sure if I cleaned it up during, but just keep in mind that the cleanup process is super easy with Aussie Insta Freeze. You can definitely clean it super easy. Now just to make my edges lay down even more slicker, honey, some good mousse is always a plus. This mousse is by the Absolute Isha brand, which is by Janet Collection. And I really do like this mousse. It's the edge mousse. It does work really well. It holds it down in place, tames those flyaways, tames those edges. And girl, you just slip on your elastic band. I know this elastic band is super fancy. It was actually in the box, I think, with Genesis wigs. So I really do like it because it's got a pattern on it and it has the Velcro. Girl, you just slip it on and style your hair, honey. And then the mousse that I used to uh, press my into my hair just now is the got to be volume maniac mousse they do sell this one still I kind of think it's similar to the fantastic mousse by got to be that's no longer available but I do put mousse in my hair prior to curling it because it will help tame the flyaways and it'll also help hold the curl somewhat and just a little bit of Aussie will also help especially when the hair is super straight and sleek <laughs> I do use the Aussie Instant Freeze to hold my curls as well as adhere my wig, which I think is great. You can use it for holding styles, which it's great for. Like it instantly holds your style and also for wig application. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this process right here because I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to curl hair. You've seen me do it a trillion times, so it's not really necessary for me to go through the whole step-by-step -step of curling my hair with you guys. Thank you. 
now to reveal this scalpage honeys look at this this wig is gorgeous it looks like it is coming from the root honeys yes you see the parting you see the sides very very so meltable loving it i love their hairline on their wigs they do such a really good job at genesis wigs the lace is very durable so keep that in mind you know it will last as long as you take care of it okay as long as you take care of it then it will definitely last and because the size the edges the hairline is so natural looking you can definitely pull this up and like some side swept ponytails or like pullbacks, especially because it's getting super hot out, but you still want to look cute. And if you're like me and you don't like a lot of hair in your face, especially during the hot weather, then this is definitely a wig that you'll want to try out. Let me tell y'all, it's super easy when you have a wig that comes to you that's already done. The only thing you have to do is style it yourself if you don't want to wear it straight. But do you see these sides? Honey, look at these edges, girl. All I gotta do is just clean up that hairspray off of my forehead, definitely good to go. And this is what I'm talking about. If it's too hot, look how you can just easily pull that up and it's not recognizable as a wig. The hairline looks great. I do like the way that the hairline is not a moon shape but it kind of gives you like a, a dip this dips in this hairline okay so it looks a lot more natural especially for my big head and if you want to corn roll it or braid it you can do that with this unit and also with the hairspray because it won't lift this is a really great hairspray so if you are in the looking for a hairspray that's affordable check out the Aussie instant freeze there are two different ones there's the volume and the freeze you definitely want to get the Aussie instant freeze you can pick this up at any store spot four dollars a can go on amazon i love this hairspray and have been using it for probably like 10 years now check out genesis wigs they have some amazing units i will leave everything down below for you girls i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see y'all in the next one bye